Hi, I'm still at the Tao Chambers. I'm in the kitchen now. That's the pan seared sea bass. That's the steamed sea bass. And I have with me the man chef Ingo Muller who's going to prepare this for us. Now, Ingo here has a very tough job. He has to cook for all the visiting heads of state, the dignitaries, and the top businessmen of India. Chef, there's the dish. Please tell us how you make it. Lead us to the ingredients. Namaskar. So, today we have some mashed potato, we have some chopped tomatoes, we have some chive, we have some sun dried tomatoes, we have some sea bass, we have green asparagus, we have some baby potatoes, we have some chopped onions, we have some chopped fine prawn, we have coriander, ginger, and garlic. Okay. And how do we make this carpet chef that you've got on top of the sea bass? Well, the carpet looks quite difficult and right. you really don't have to do this if you have not any time at okay. home. But it's quite easy. If you have a green and yellow zucchini, you just take a peeler and really make a nice small cut from the zucchini right. so you just have the skin. Right. So what we're doing first, we'll put the green zucchini on top of the yellow zucchini right. and then we will add the yellow zucchini on top of the green zucchini. And then you will follow, follow, follow if all I the tried one. kind of operations. So it's quite easy. So if you want to impress your girlfriend or your wife, there's a really the dish what you have to do. So it's not too complicated, but for people who walk the red carpet, the dishes must have a carpet on it, so it's worth the effort. So to fit the carpet on the fish, right. what we're doing, we have the chopped prawns, we have some ginger, coriander and garlic. We will spice it with salt and pepper, and then we will add the chopped prawn on top of the sea bass, so right. we have a kind of glue, because otherwise the zucchini will fall down. Okay, and this glue will make the carpet stick to the exactly. sea bass. And also you have a uh, nice flavor of corn and ginger right. and garlic on top of the fish as well. And, and we could add some spices to make it more salt, appealing pepper, to exactly. us. Of course, it depends on your taste. Even you can add some chili or some curry. Mm. Depends on your flavor. That shows he's been in India for a long time. He <laughs> adds curry to his French cuisine now. So, until I'm finished with this, right. it's very easy yes. to put this on the carpet. Um, chef, what's yeah. this blade for? Ah, the blade the is really easy. Because if you don't have the time to make the carpet, Right. Well, you really can use a regular fish with right. the skin, and right. then what I'm using every time is a uh, steel blade. So you use this in the morning, the same blade, or <laughs> now I, in the morning I use a different shape. Right. But uh, I use this uh, razor blade to put a nice shape on top of the skin because the skin is very tough, even like our human nature skin. Right. It's very tough, almost like leather. So it's very difficult to cut, and I really right. don't want to cut through the fish. So that's right. the reason I use a razor blade to really make a small, nice cut on top of the skin to give it a really nice shape. Here's a tip guys, when you're scraping the surface of a fish and especially the skin, a razor blade works better than a knife. Great chef, shall we go to the grill then? Okay, let's go. Okay. So what we need now to steam the sea bass, we need a kind of red of stock. So I had here some carrots, some cabbage, onions, some garlic, or you can use this uh, as a stock. Right. So we have here some, some water with salt and pepper and sugar. And then we will add the vegetables too. So, so we have really the steam flavor as well. And this has salt, pepper added to it already. Salt, pepper, a little bit sugar, uh, garlic, ginger, and then you have a really nice flavor, even for right. steaming. Because if you steam something, even just the steam has to be a nice flavor. But could yes. I use vegetables from leftovers or peelings that I have? Could I use carrot peels and stuff to make the stock? Sure, of course. Okay. The kitchen is very important, you have no waste at all. So no waste. No so waste yesterday's waste is today's stock pot. Great stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So to steam the fish, what I'm doing, I have a bamboo steamer, I right. use a non-stick cooking spray or right. you, even you can use some fresh butter but right. it's quite easy and then I will spray it on the bamboos right. and then I will add the fish on top with the nice carpet the carpet on it already then I will put the lid on top and you leave it and there then to steam I will steam it Chef, how long are you going to be steaming this for now here? Yeah. Depends on the size of the fish, we mean three, five minutes. So a thick fish would take about five yeah. minutes, you're saying, and a longer, thin, yeah. thin fish would take about yeah. three minutes. Two, three minutes. Okay. okay. We'll put this on the side now, we'll right. steam it, right. and in the meantime, I will show you how to make the pan seared fish. Okay. So, okay, so what we do now, right, we chef. take some fish with the skin, right, which chef. we cut later, always, right. and put this in a non-stick pan in olive oil, to very small temperature. Okay, very so cook, low, temperature, slow, low temperature, so you'll cook for a long period of time. Exactly. That's a chef's tip. Low temperature cooking for a longer period to retain the flavors. Exactly, because then we have also very crispy skin. Right. It's very juicy and inside flavorful. And on top it's very crispy and it's very nice. And flavor. how long will this take now to sear on the pan? This size of fish needs almost to 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, chef. So you let that be Just now. on the skin. Okay. And then you will turn it around every time to be careful so it doesn't burn. Okay, chef. Yeah. So, in the meantime, until the fish is cooking on the side, right. I start to make the vegetable and the potatoes. Okay. Which means I will heat up some olive oil 
and some fresh butter. Right. We will add some fresh chopped butter. onions inside. Right. To make a nice small saute. Okay. So you're cooking both the dishes with almost you, as a similar can, as start. As you can see now. Right. A nice okay. color from the okay. butter and olive oil. Right. And until after the onions are very nice sorted. The chef is making add... a steamed fish, a seared fish and two yeah. dishes. So you're multitasking like a woman almost. Yeah, so it's quite easy. Yeah. And I'm speaking as well. And so you're speaking five as well. times at the same wow. time. Well, it's quite wow. great, huh? So okay. um, we will add now the asparagus inside. Okay. And we'll spice it with salt. Yeah. And should you add salt, pepper and something else there? Uh, sugar. So that's his secret ingredient, sugar. Sugar. It's a good balance between sugar, salt, and pepper. Right. So you have to cook also with love because the sugar ah, is also kind sugar of sugar and love. Yeah, it's quite Chef important. Chef's secret ingredients yeah. here. Okay. So until the butter melts down right. together with the asparagus, we have right. to cook it very nice slow. Okay. So we can put it now on the side to simmer. Right. And the other side, we have the potatoes now with the chopped onions. Right. And I will add some fresh vegetable stock inside to, okay. to boil it down. Okay. So now I'll cook the potatoes. Right, chef. We'll spice it with salt, pepper, right, some nutmeg, and then a bit of truffle oil. Truffle oil, okay. right. And we'll crush it later with a fork or with a spoon. So we have okay. really nice cubes right. inside, right. and it's still good flavor. Yeah, yeah. Chef, you're adding salt and pepper here. Yeah. But what do you think of people or guests when they add salt and pepper at the table? Because as a chef, it can be a problem sometimes. That well, no, it's not a problem for me until the guest is happy. They can add ketchup, ginger, Tabasco, wow. mustard. Until the guest is happy at the end of the day, I'm happy as well. So tell me something. Which all celebrity guests have you served? So Oliver Stone, Steven Spielberg, Selma Hayek, um, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson, that's what I know he's served. And now you guys are listening, aren't you? Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Ivana Trump. Ivana Trump. Uh, so kind of a lot of celebrities. So more women than men, as you can tell. So you know where his heart lies. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. You need every time love and passion as well. <laughs> love and passion again okay chef and chef the fish is almost I think done now yeah. here as you can see now the, the skin is very crispy right. almost like bacon so do you want to put this on a plate and show me how it looks now chef yeah, sure no problem Thanks, at all chef. all right so we're presenting the dish now yeah. so now we put the asparagus on the plate where we need and arrange but be careful okay. don't make any spots okay you don't want to and also for other garnish, right. I have also the balsamico reduction. If the fork went through this with the fish, you would get the flavor of the balsamico on the fish as exactly. well. Even with the asparagus, right. or with the potato. Right. So yeah. now we put the asparagus on the plate where we need and arrange. But be careful, okay. don't make any spots. Okay. You don't want to dirty up the plate. All right, chef. So we so have also now some potato straw on top of the mashed potatoes. mashed potato. Right. Some okay. rosemary mm -hmm. as garnish. Right, rosemary. And now the steamed sea bass with a oh, wow. wing. Chef, this ring is yeah. not the, something that you've made yourself. Yeah, you can use a, a spring roll dough and make Put it in a round there. shape and bake it in the oven. Okay. Wow. Then place the fish in the middle of the ring. That looks fantastic, Chef. Thank you. And you know, I, al I always believe that you eat with all your senses and you start with your eyes. So when something looks so appealing, it already makes you hungrier. Chef, that yeah. dish, it tasted fantastic, it looked awesome and it looked very tough. But you've very much simplified it for us. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. No problem, every time again. Okay. My pleasure. There's one more secret that the Chef has up his sleeve. I will ask you to look into his eyes as he shares that with us now. Did you see that? Isn't that absolutely crazy or wild? Anyways, a chef who can wiggle his eyes, a chef who multitasks, and a chef who uses a razor to cook food. I think I've seen it all. We know too much about the Taj Chambers now. But just to show you that I believe in a balanced diet, time for some soul food now. The Baha'i House of Worship is more commonly known as the Lotus Temple, although that is not the preferred name as I am told. The Baha'i religion originated in Iran in 1844. Today, it has 5.5 billion followers across 190 countries. There are seven houses of worship in the world, one in every continent, and I am standing outside one of them. It has nine entrances and nine pools in the shape of lotus leaves. Nine is the highest value single digit and symbolizes comprehensiveness, oneness and unity, all of which are vital principles of the Baha'i faith. Inside, as you can see, there are no idols or images and even no priests or ministers. Instead, 
multi-religious prayer services are held every hour. The tranquility and the serenity is just unbeatable. Just look around. To think of it, we are right in the middle of the busiest business district of Delhi and there seems to be such a prevailing sense of calm. Wow! How strange, but all this soul cleansing has made me hungry again.